We have this river sequence, which is one of our trickier sequences to shoot. Finding the right river, which had the right amount of rapids, but then also became calm at the end of it. We spent a lot of time looking at all the different rivers in all of the UK, and we found ourselves at the River Tees, which has really provided us a stunning place to shoot the sequence. Sam and Roger are so specific about how you deliver information, how do you get the right angle and what is the right angle, and then that takes a bit of working out, and then you go, how do we get that? Quite honestly, I didn't have 100% confidence in it, so that was a bit nervy till we got there and shot it, but once we got going, it was like, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> We've been able to involve Tom earlier in the process than we normally would. As we were actually filming, we could use Tom's music, which was fantastic, of course. So it's not as though we finished the film, sent it to him, and then he sends the music back. It's a very organic process where he's working as the film is being created. That needed to be part of the fabric of the movie because the music can start to find other things about the emotional journey these men are taking, what their mood is, what their state of mind is, what it feels like um, to live in that environment. Much of it is electronic and process and all that. We used an instrument called the Iwi, an electronic wind instrument where you can use breath and volume pedals that, that push noise forward that creates all kinds of weird kind of psychological sounds because the idea is to not make it feel as if someone's going boom. The first thing I needed to do was figure out what camera we would shoot it on and I knew Ari was going to be producing an LF Mini, so we really pushed them to get the camera available for us for this shoot. We're the first film to use it. It's the smallest possible camera we can have, but with the best quality of image that you can possibly have on a digital film. One of the key elements in realizing this film has been Roger Deakin's input. From the very early days, Roger was right by Sam's side, working out exactly what it was that Sam was looking for. We made the 40-page document, which is basically a map of the film that indicates how a camera can go, not just from A to B like a normal movie, but from A to B to C to D to E to F, without cutting. We spent a number of months, literally, you know, researching different camera techniques but then it was actually how to combine all those elements of technology to create something that flowed. And you weren't aware of the change from one motion to another. 